hello there so today i want to make a video to respond to some of the comments that i have been receiving on some of my congo videos where apparently in the comments they are saying that the former president of tanzania julius nyurere uh, made this video at this summit i think it was an african summit where he was saying that the problems in congo did not start with rwanda even though we know that's not true right uh and then they are trying to in the video because i've watched it and i'm going to play it here and you really is trying to say that in rwanda there are not three tribes you know the twa the tutsi and the hutu and in burundi there are not those three tribes the twa the the, uh, the hutus and the tutsi he says that there are two uh, there are rather one tribe called banyarwanda and there are also one tribe called burundi of course that is a lie it's a big lie because if we were to say that then why are they killing each other why did they kill one million people in 1994 if there were one people same people don't kill each other why would one people kill each other Th that's not true and again the genocide in rwanda is not called the genocide against Banyarwanda. it's called the genocide against the tutsi so now you understand when they want to be paid or given foreign aid they remember that there is a community called tutsi in rwanda but when they try to lie to us they forget all that they try they want to tell us that there is one tribe in rwanda that is not true they are hutus and hutus are the majority and they are oppressed and they don't even have a voice in rwanda uh, almost every government position there is occupied by the tutsi and th those are the tutsis who are saying that there are no hutus that everyone in rwanda belongs to one tribe so that they can justify the reason why there are no hutus occupying government positions right this is the position in rwanda and burundi we talk about them as if we have three different tribes in Rwanda and Burundi. Or now actually some of those who outside Africa, we don't even think of two tribes. We th three, we think of two. So we think there is a Tutsi tribe there and a Hutu tribe. They aren't. In Burundi, you simply have one tribe, the Burundi. In Rwanda, you have one tribe, the Banyarwanda. Actually, they would tell you now, or in the past at least, they would tell you that they're not even tribes, they're nations, they're a nation. Rwanda is one nation, and that nation is the nation of the Banyarwanda. And in Burundi, you have one nation, the nation of the Burundi. Political problems in, Ra in Zaire did not start with the Banyamulengi. When did we hear about the Banyamulengi? I think two months ago. And I've been saying this in my previous videos that every place you go on earth and you find a community, they speak their own language. So you go to Europe, you find a community called the Finns, they speak Finnish language. You go to Tanzania, you find the Skuma, they speak Kiskuma. You go to Kenya, you find Kikuyus, they speak Kikuyu. You go to Uganda, you find the Baganda people, they speak Luganda, right? But when you go to Rwanda, you find the Hutu. Instead of us saying that they speak Kihutu, which is the language they speak, you tell us that they speak Kinyarwanda. And you have to go back to history in 1885 when the German explorers came there, Bismarck, when he came with the other explorers, they went to this king or this uh, chieftain and they asked him and during the interpretation and, you know, the translation, they came up with this word called Rwanda. And no one knows what it means. Not even the people in Rwanda knows what it means. They don't know how that explorer came up with that word. Maybe he misheard a certain phrase and he wrote Rwanda, right? And people then didn't even know how to write, so no one was there to correct him. And he asked this chief, what about the other kingdom we passed on our way here, the one on the, in the south? And the chief was talking to his people because they were all confused. And he asked, "You, you are, are you talking about the other one? Now, in Kihutu, the other one means Urundi. So he said, are you talking about the other, the other kingdom, Urundi? And I think the German... Uh, sh shook their head or they agreed and 
the other southern kingdom was called Urundi. And they put in their notebook Rwanda Urundi. But no one knows what it means literally apart from Urundi means the other one, right? And that's how those two kingdoms or those two regions got the names Rwanda and the southern one got Urundi. So there are no people called Urundi and there are no people called Urwanda. And there are no language called Kinyarwanda, Kiurwanda, before 1885. But the people who lived there actually had their own language named after their name. So if they were Hutus, the language they spoke was Kihutu. And the other thing that happened was that the Tutsis were always the minority. And they came with their language, but it was too hard because it was a Semitic dialect that they came with from Western Ethiopia. It was a Semitic dialect, like uh, the Somali people. And instead of you know, spreading that Semitic language, they decided to assimilate the easier Bantu dialect. And that was the Kihutu language. And that's why in Rwanda now they speak that language they call Kinyarwanda. It is actually 80% Kihutu. And if you think that I'm lying, you go to the other side of the border in Tanzania. There's a territory there called Kigoma, near Lake Tanganyika. They are the cousins of the Hutus, and they are called the Ha, or the Baha, the people there. And they speak a language that if you listen to it on YouTube, you can go there and look for the Baha people speaking on YouTube, and then you listen to the Hutus or the Banyarwanda, the languages are the same. They are what we call mutual intelligible language. In other words, you don't need to study the other one to understand it. You just go there, listen, and you have understood what they are saying. So that shows you that the Hutus and their cousins, they still speak the same language. So there's no Kinyarwanda language. And Nyerere, the president of Tanzania, is on this video trying to lie to the world that there are no Hutus. Even though I keep saying there are more than 14 to 17 million Hutus in the whole of Greater Re Lakes region. They are there, and their cousins, they are. And you know how the has got their name? So the Germans who went to Rwanda and Urundi went to Kigoma. They were doing their exploration. And they asked the chief they found in Kigoma that uh, on their way there, they found another community that had the same culture. So the community they were talking about were the people called the Bashi, the Bashi from near the Lake Tanganyika on the other side. So now the translator asked them, are you related with those people? Are those your people? And the chief replied that those ones are from there. We are from here. And in Kihutu, he says, Pare Baharia, Twebe Trabaha. So he meant those are from there. We are from here. So now the German explorer entered in his notebook the word Abaha. But you remember it meant we are of here. So that's how they got their name. They became the Baha people and they speak Kiha in the books in Tanzania. But there is no such a community. They keep saying that we are not called Baha, we are the Hutus of this region. And the Mzungu or the white person decided to give us that name. 